Hello students. Today we will learn about the evolution of computers. Every aspect of our lives in this present era has been influenced by the most advanced machine known as a computer. Initially computers were used only by scientists and engineers for complex calculations and were very expensive. But nowadays computers are cheaper and even small organizations and individuals can afford them. Computers have now become a basic need because of their usage at almost every workplace. Computers are used extensively in banks, hospitals, media and entertainment, industries, schools, homes, space technology and research, railways, airports and so on. The term computer is derived from the word compute which means to calculate, but a computer is not limited to perform only calculations. A computer is a versatile device that can handle different applications at the same time. Students, can you tell me who is he? He is Andre Truong, Truong Thi, nineteen thirty-six to two thousand and five, a Vietnamese French engineer. He is considered to be the father of the personal computer for creating the micro micro computer based on an Intel eight zero zero eight processor in nineteen seventy-three. Do you know how computer came into existence? The present day computer is entirely different from the earlier devices that were invented for doing calculations. Let us glance through the major milestones in the journey leading to the evolution of present day computers. Let us first learn about history of computer. The need to keep a track of numbers led to the invention of different calculating devices. Starting from Abacus, the first counting device, many devices were invented leading to the development of computers. Now let us talk about calculating devices. 3000 BC Abacus Abacus was the first mechanical device for calculations developed in China. It was made up of a wooden frame with rods, each having beads. The frame is divided into two parts, heaven and earth. Each rod in heaven has two beads and each rod in earth has five beads. It was used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Let me share an interesting fact with you. In 1617, John Napier made a calculating device, a set of rectangular rods called Napier's bones. The rods were made up of carved bones which were used for performing addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and square roots. Pascal Adding Machine Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician, invented an adding machine called Pascal's calculator at the age of 19 in the year 1642. It used gears, wheels and dials. Numbers were displayed by rotating the wheels. It was capable of performing addition and subtraction. The gear principle was further employed in many mechanical calculators. Taximeter is a perfect example of a mechanical calculator. Leibniz Calculator Leibniz, the famous German mathematician, improved on the Pascal's machine in 1671 to make the Leibniz Calculator. It was a mechanical device. Apart from performing addition and subtraction, the Leibniz Calculator could even do multiplication, division and find square roots. Now let's talk about early IT inventors. Charles Babbage Charles Babbage, a British mathematician, is considered as the father of computers. He invented a working model of the mechanical computer called the Difference Engine in 1822 and the Analytical Engine in 1833. The Analytical Engine had five units, input, output, store, mill and control. These units work like the modern computer. All the computers which are used nowadays are based on it. Store was used for storing the data and mill was the calculating unit. Control unit was used for supervising all the units. Students, let's know the fact file. Around 1820, Charles Xavier Thomas created the first commercial mechanical calculator, Thomas Earthometer, that could add, subtract, multiply and divide. It was based on Leibniz's work. Augusta Ada Lovelace Lady Augusta Ada Lovelace was an English mathematician and a writer chiefly known for her work on Charles Babbage Analytical Engine. She is considered as the first programmer who suggested binary data storage 0 and 1 instead of decimal number system. George Boole 
George Boole was an English mathematician. He realized that complex mathematical problems could be solved by reducing them to a series of questions having either positive or negative answers. He linked them with the binary number system and represented the positive results by 1 and the negative ones by 0. This theory of Boolean logic became the fundamental principle for the design of computer circuitry. Students, have you heard about Dr. Herman Hollerith? Herman Hollerith, an American statistician, invented a machine called tabulating machine. It was capable of reading data, processing it and giving the desired output. The input was given through punched cards. The punched cards were used to record and store data or information. Ok students, note the fact that in 1890, the United States Census Bureau used punch cards and sorting machines designed by Herman Hallrith. John Von Neumann A modern type computer came into existence with John Von Neumann's development of software written in binary code. It was John Von Neumann who started the practice of storing data and instructions in binary code in memory. Newman joined hands with Presper Eckert, American electrical engineer, and John Marchley, American physicist, in a consulting role, and Ed Wack was built using binary code in 1950. Ed Wack's concept of storing different programs on punched cards led to the advancement of computers that we know today. Howard Aiken Howard Aiken was a primary engineer in IBM who developed the first automatic sequence controlled calculator, the Mark I in 1944. It was capable to execute long computations automatically. Let us first learn about ENIAC. ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. The first general-purpose electronic digital computer was invented by John Marchley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946. It consisted of 18,000 vacuum tubes and was 1,000 times faster than the Mark I. It could add two large numbers in 200 microseconds. Students, you will be surprised to know that physically, ENIAC was very large in size. It weighed 30 tons and consumed 150 kilowatt of power. It was 100 feet long and 10 feet tall. Let us first learn about UNIVAC 1. UNIVAC 1, Universal Automatic Computer 1, was the world's first commercially available computer designed by J. Presper Eckert and John Marchley in 1951. It was the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. It was also the first computer that was equipped with magnetic tape unit. It used buffer memory. Alright children, let us now learn about the generations of computers. Evolution of the present day computer can be classified into generations of computers. First generation computers from 1940 to 1956 had circuitry of vacuum tubes, data input, data output, External storage was on magnetic tapes, languages, machine assembly. Examples, UNIVAC, ENIAC, EDVAC. Second generation computers from 1956 to 1963 had circuitry or transistors. Data input, data output. External storage was on magnetic tapes. Languages used were Fortran, COBOL, BASIC. PL1 Examples IBM 1400 and 700 CD IBM 350 Third generation computers from 1964 to 1971 had circuitry of integrated circuits IC The data input operation was through keyboard Data output operation through monitor External storage was on magnetic disk Languages used, sophisticated OS were used, Pascal, Fortran, COBOL, RPG. Examples, IBM System, 360, Apple One and Altair. Fourth generation computers from 1972 to present have circuitry of microprocessors, VLSC. Data input operation through keyboard, mouse, scanner, etc. Data output operation through monitor, printer, speakers. 
external storage on magnetic disk with higher capacity. Languages use use of special software for maintaining large databases RDBMS C++ in 1985. Examples Fifth generation, the computers expected in near future. Futures have circuitry with artificial intelligence. Data input operation through optical fiber technology to handle artificial intelligence, capacity to think and reason. Language can understand human speech, recognize patterns like faces and other complex images. Each new generation resulted in the following changes in computers. Increase in speed, storage capacity and reliability, whereby decrease in cost and size. Now let us talk about types of computers. Computers can be classified into the following types with respect to their size, speed, storage, capacity and cost. Microcomputers. These computers are small in size and cheap. They are usually designed for personal use, therefore they are also called personal computers. They are mainly used in homes, schools, offices, shops, banks, etc. These computers are given different names according to their usage. Examples, Commodore 64, IBM PC. Desktop computers. These computers are designed to fit comfortably on top of desk. Desktop computers typically come in several units such as monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse which are connected to each other and work like a single unit. Laptop computers. These computers are small in size and can be placed on the lab. These are battery operated and portable. We can perform all the tasks as we do on a desktop. But laptops are more expensive than desktop computers. These computers are mainly used by the business travelers. We can fold down the screen of laptop onto the keyboard when not in use. Laptops usually come in 13 to 15 inch screen. Tablet computers. These computers are smaller and lighter than laptop computers but bigger than smartphones. Instead of a keyboard and mouse, tablets use touch sensitive screen for typing and navigation. Tablets generally have a screen size between 7 to 10 inches. Popular uses of tablets include reading, ebooks, watching movies, viewing photos, browsing net, etc. Mini computers. These computers are bigger in size than the microcomputers. They have a higher processing speed and are costlier than the microcomputers. These computers are capable to support 4 to about 200 users simultaneously. They are used in banks, universities and in any other big organizations. Example, PTP8. Mainframe computers. These computers are very powerful. They are big in size with a large memory and high speed. They are designed to tackle huge amount of data. More than 100 users can use a mainframe computer simultaneously. These computers are used in networked environment. Mainframe computers are very expensive and are used in large business organizations, universities, banks, scientific laboratories, airline and railway ticket reservation, stock exchange markets, etc. Examples are IBM Z series, PTP 10 and System Z10. Supercomputers. They are the most powerful computers with a huge processing speed. These computers are used for weather forecasting, space research, satellite control, etc. Examples Cray 1, Cray 2, Param, Tianhe 2, Sunway, Taihu Light, etc. Students, let's know more. Param is a series of supercomputers designed and assembled by the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC, India. The latest machine in the series is the Param Kanchunjunga. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Charles Babbage is considered as the father of computers. He invented the Difference Engine in 1822 and Analytical Engine in 1833. Lady Augusta Ada Lovelace was the first programmer. ENIAC was the first general purpose electronic digital computer invented in 1946. UNIVAC was the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. Computers are categorized into four types with respect to speed, storage, capacity, size and cost. 
The four types of computers are micro computers, mini computers, mainframe computers and supercomputers.